Chinese pianist found himself with an actual show-stopping injury in his left arm. And injuries aren't unique to superstars like Lung Lung. Our health reporter, Cass Rusi, shows us a unique Canadian clinic aimed at making sure musicians don't have to play through the pain. World-renowned classical pianist Lung Lung was in rehearsals last week, preparing for a special performance at the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. Special because this time he's sharing the bench and keyboard with his 15-year-old protege Maxim Lando. Can you tell me what Maxim's role is uh, in your concert? Um, he will play lots of notes, a little bit more notes than me tonight. Uh, <laughs> and there's some crossing hand yeah. uh, things, uh, passages. It will be Maxim. <laughs> <laughs> For this performance, Lando will serve as Lung Lung's left hand, a necessity because Lung Lung is recovering from tendonitis in his left arm. A few months ago, I was very nervous because, you know, when it's pain, you never know when it's going to be okay. Lung Lung is called the planet's hottest classical artist. And injuries like this can sometimes be career killers. The inflammation in his arm forced him into an unintended hiatus, prompting music enthusiasts around the globe to worry about his future. Recovery is long and is challenging. For the past year, Lung Lung has worked hard with his medical team to get better and to get back on the stage. And now the inflammation is gone, and uh, so I'm getting back to uh, on the recovery road to uh, uh, perform again soon. Long Long's injury highlights just how precarious the livelihood of an artist can be. Study after study shows how chronic pain and disabling injuries to the neck, arms and back can take a toll on a musician's body. One recent German study found that chronic pain develops precisely because the problem is ignored. Sometimes it seems too scary to notice that something doesn't feel right because if it doesn't feel right, then how how will next month's rent get paid? <laughs> Dr. Chase McMurrin runs this one-of-a-kind hospital clinic in Canada, exclusively aimed at the artistic community. It looks like an average medical center, but a piano in one room and a picture of the bard in another hint at a space tailored for artists. This feels great right now. <laughs> the patients here come from all artistic walks of life, musicians, artists, and dancers like Selena Lee, who's in today for a shoulder pain. You know, nightly rehearsals, and I also teach, so I'm constantly moving around and using my arms and in heels all the time. Dr. McMurrin says, just like high-performance athletes, artists, too, use their bodies to achieve excellence in their craft. Their bodies do take a beating after endless hours of rehearsing and performing. So just like a sports medicine clinic, McMurrin believes that artists too should be able to access specialized care. For musicians in particular, but, but artists in general, um, th there's a huge layer of, of mental anguish and anxiety associated with the whole thing because their, their performance is so contingent on their body doing what they need it to do. Steve Thomas credits the clinic with saving his career as a drummer. A few years ago, during a performance, a mysterious sensation overtook his body. Between my spine and there's like, there was a line that kept burning and burning and burning. Literally, when I was playing, I was actually shaking, and I thought I was developing Parkinson's disease. Really? Yep. Yep, and I, because I didn't know. Thomas finally found out a few months ago what was causing him so much agony. A doctor told him it was dystonia, a neurological disorder provoked by years of repetitive movements. I said, what's that? He said, your le brain learns bad habits. Often repetitive practice, like something like drumming for long periods of time, can kind of change the, the communication network, basically, of the nervous system and then cause a regular movement. For that reason, Steve Thomas has become more aware of his body. Physio with relaxation techniques have helped. He's also changed the way he holds his drumsticks. One, two, three. Last night, Thomas and his bandmates played a gig at a local bar in Toronto. Returning to the stage, this time with confidence and 
pain-free. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto. The Artist Health Centre at Toronto Western Hospital gets more than 600 patients a year. And it's not just for physical injuries. The clinic plans to expand operations to provide better mental health programs for artists.